The Secret Things by Dr. Earl White Deuteronomy 29 verse 29 The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. What an awesome verse this is. How many times have we tried to know something about God and found that in thinking the thoughts became so overwhelmed that we had to stop or else lose our mind completely? The secret things belong to the Lord our God. There are some things that we will never know in this world because they are things that belong only to God. Faith lives with the unexplained and rejoices in the revealed. I am glad that this verse says, but those things which are revealed belong to us. Even here, we must be careful. I like what Tozier said. I have leaped through a book entitled, earth's earliest ages i will not say that i have actually read it because i quickly concluded that the author seemed to believe he knows more about the antediluvian period than moses did then he adds a comment that should warn all of us when i discovered a man who claims to know more than moses on a subject in which moses is a specialist i shy away from his book while things revealed are ours, we must still handle them delicately because of misinterpretation of the revealed becomes a lie. I like what Tozier said. For a man to understand revealed truth requires an act of God equal to the original act which inspired the text. The Divine Conquest, page 79, A.W. Tozer. This statement was made when he was commenting on the illumination of the Holy Spirit. Isaiah no doubt wanted to know the secret things. And God said to him in Isaiah 55 verse 7 and 9, Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return to the Lord for he will have mercy on him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Note the distance between God's thoughts and man's. For as the heavens, plural, are higher than the earth, so are my thoughts than your thoughts. There is no way to measure the distance between heaven and earth. Astronomers who study the heavens talk in terms of universes that dwarf our being located billions of light years away. God says, these distance that overwhelm your finite minds in some way will illustrate the degree of differences between my thoughts and your thoughts. Paul is caught up in this overwhelming difference when he wrote, Oh, the depth of riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. For who hath known the mind of the Lord? Or who hath been his counselor? Or who hath first given to him? And it shall be recompensed unto him again. For of him and through him and to him are all things. To whom be glory for ever, Amen. Romans eleven thirty three through thirty six. This secret thing belongs to the Lord our God. There is a forbidding about this statement. The secret things belong to the Lord our God. They are His, His possession. He is infinite in His knowledge. His understanding is without limits. God guards these secrets by our limitations as creatures. We are the created. He is the creator. Man glories in his wisdom, but the foolishness of God is wiser than men. 1 Corinthians 1.25 
God is saying, don't waste your time in things that don't belong to you. Spend your time examining the, the things I have given you. He says, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. What does he say is ours? He says, those things which are revealed. God's word is God's revelation. He has given us the Bible. God says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1.1 1, 1. The very first verse of the Bible is an awesome revelation. Men who reject God and try to bypass him have other explanations. They say it all started with a big bang. They talk about evolution. Millions of dollars are spent in writing textbooks to be taught in our public schools to avoid God and his revelation. But the creator has spoken. It stands as an eternal fact. For those of us who believe, we cherish this revelation. It has been given to us. It belongs to us. We can study it and be blessed by it. It is not off limits to us. But there are things about creation that are secret. God has not revealed them. These are the things that belong to him. When we try to pry into these areas, we must go there by human wisdom. And remember, the Holy Spirit tells us, the world by wisdom knew not God. How do we know God? We know God by revelation. It is no secret. He tells us in John 1, verse 1 through 18. Verse 18 says, No man hath seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, hath declared him. The word declared means revealed. Not only do we know things about God by revelation, we know God himself by revelation. John chapter 14, verse 8 and 9. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father, and how sayest thou, Show us the Father? Philip says that God was in Christ, and Christ was the express image of God. This is revealed. This belongs to us. We can expand our thinking by meditating on God's revelation day and night. How long will these things revealed be beneficial? God says, But those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. These things are not only going to be good in our lifetime. Moses says that they are also given for our children. And they are not revealed for us and our children but they are forever. Not only does this word mean everlasting, but it also means perpetually. This means that the truth of the revelation is eternal truth. There will never come a time when these truths will not be true and worn out and of no use. The psalmist said in Psalm 119 verse 89, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. What practical use do we gain by these things that are revealed? Moses says that they may do all the words of this law. God reveals for faith to believe and practice. James 1.22 says, But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. God has given his revelation for man to practice. God's revelation is his declared will. This is the reason the psalmist says in Psalm 1, verse 2, of the blessed man. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Jesus says, The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. John six sixty three. There are things we cannot know. They are hidden in the mind of infinite God. There are things we can know. These things were revealed in his word. Let us make this book the daily food that feeds our pilgrimage as we migrate toward the city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. 
Hebrews 11.10 May the Lord bless these words to our hearts today.